liquid gallium. A few ice cubes dropped in. You can actually see the crystals forming. Actually, as you watch, that fast, pure gallium melts at hand temperature, but a little hot water does it faster. Then uh, pour in uh, some uh, cold water. Gallium is really good at heat retention. I've actually been uh, growing crystals in a super powerful magnetic field. Not right now, but... You can actually see the crystals growing as you watch, literally. The ice cubes are melting away even though they're in cold water. Gallium is really good at maintaining its heat. It usually takes like three or four cold water dumps. You pour out the water, pour in some more cool water. You want to cause crystal growth as you watch. Just drop in three or four ice cubes. This stuff is actually quite expensive. Uh, gallium, like I said, which literally will melt in your hand. However, it takes a while and it leaves the... Gallium is kind of like a dirty insect that will take a shit in your hand. It's not poisonous, but uh, leave your hands black. But you can wash off with soap. It's not dangerous, but pure gallium is not toxic. But it is as expensive as silver. Per ounce, gallium is about the same cost as silver. See crystal growth? How rapid it is? I've just got some regular tap water. You can actually see as I actually... Let me pull out a crystal and uh, show you here. It uh, forms very beautiful crystals. This one isn't that beautiful, but uh, you can actually see the uh, hexagonal lattice of the crystals. Some of them are a lot prettier than others. If I turn this whole thing over, you can actually see where they're... That was all within a minute and a half of growth. If you actually pull them out can actually grow them independently, which is slightly harder to do, but uh, here you can actually see the faceted nature of the gallium crystals. I've run some fascinating crystals in a really powerful magnetic field. Gallium is fun. Unfortunately, gallium is slightly expensive. Any expensive is silver. Silver is not that expensive. Probably about $12 an ounce. But, uh, yeah. The fastest crystal growth you'll ever see. I actually did a fascinating experiment about an hour ago. I'd like to share that later this week. So you're going to see the blackened tips of my fingers. Even though it's pure gallium, that's what it'll do. It'll leave a dump on your hands. Yep. So fascinating actually how much gallium shrinks down once it liquefies in hot water and how much it expands. Like if you try to uh, um, let gallium re-solidify in a glass chamber or bottle, it will break it because it expands. Same as bismuth. It's actually uh, very uh, diamagnetic in a strong magnetic field and it affects crystal growth. Um, however, it's not affecting these in a strong magnetic field. Anyway. Here you go. The wonders of the metal that will literally melt in your hand. Gallium. It also has really interesting uses in nuclear reactors, interestingly enough. Yep. Gallium. I got some actually beautiful gallium crystals that I've grown in a magnetic field. I gave some uh, gallium crystals to one guy and he stuck it in his shirt pocket. I was like, you know, you don't want to do that. Why? And it melts at, room, melts at the body temperature. I grew him some beautiful gallium crystals and they were in a glass vial. And he stuck them in his shirt pocket. He's like, don't do that. He's like, why? Sure enough, like two hours later, he's like, why don't you check on those crystals you stuck in your shirt pocket? And then there was just a little lump of metal, uh, liquid metal on the bottom of them. I was like, yeah, 
your crystals are destroyed.